So good afternoon, everyone, the physical attendees and the online attendees. So um, uh, today we'll, we'll, we'll be presenting the tools that were developed in the in the framework of a, of a European project, a European funded project. It was an experiment uh, to illustrate uh, mainly to industry the advantage of using HPC systems. Uh, sorry, maybe two. Okay, so uh, and I forgot to. My name is Miguel Nobrega. I came from the University of Minho. And uh, this, this is a joint presentation of uh, me and uh, João Vidal. João Vidal was a former uh, researcher at, at our department. He moved five years, six years ago to, to the industry, to Soprefa, and uh, uh, is currently working there. And uh, it has been a, a good opportunity to, to do some, some exchange. So, uh, uh, th th this is the outline of the presentation. We'll start with introduction. Actually, it's me that will do the, that introduction, and then we'll describe some some of of, of the the different steps of of the work and and the, the repository we have, where you can find the codes, all the codes developed that are public, and that can be used for for your own problems. Uh, and uh, at the end, Juan Juan will also present the the uh, ends on ends on of of what can be done so uh, more details about the project as i mentioned was an experiment uh, uh, that took place in the framework of the fortissimo for uh, uh, euro hpc project that joined three entities so prefa uh, it's uh, the inducer and the one the company that designs uh, and manufactures Profiles, thermoplastic profiles. Uh, Wolf Dynamics from Joel Guerrero, the organizer of the Open Form Workshop, uh, that had the role of helping us on the optimization, design on the optimization tools. And then uh, the group from the University of Minho. Uh, and our, our expertise is on computational modeling, uh, HPC as well. We have persons from the uh, EuroCC group from the University of Minho and uh, and uh, uh, also on the experimental part of characterization will not cover that here uh, that will be mentioned uh, in, in the associated presentation that will take place tomorrow so first of all a, a quick explanation of the challenge of the problem we have to solve when designing profile extrusion dyes uh, one of the main issues is, is that we need to balance the flow inside the channel. Bal balanced flow means uh, the material needs to emerge from the tool at uh, controlled, uh, balanced velocity. Otherwise, what will happen is what we see on the top movie. It's not possible to obtain the desired profile. In order to do it, the tool must be designed in order to to uh, to uh, uh, have a, a uniform flow distribution, and that uniform flow distribution allows to to obtain to obtain uh, uh, the desired the desired profile. And to do that in a complex profile, it's not easy. It's uh, it depends on the it has a lot of dependencies: material, on the geometry, uh, on the temperature distribution, uh, and uh, it's a big challenge to do it uh, in a complex profile. And uh, what is done usually in the industry is a trial and error based approach. So someone with experience uh, designs the first tool, then it will enters in a, in a trial and error uh, phase to correct the tool in order to, 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 to do it, uh, in order to reach a reasonable solution. That is obviously time demanding Time demanding and, and and requires a lot a lot of effort uh, and a lot of resources uh, and the details about the limitations and the numbers I'll, I'll, I will give tomorrow in the presentation in the associated technical presentation I have but this is mainly I'm I'm describing you this for you to to have an idea of what's going on what have we done in terms of the project 
we created uh, a framework that combines open phone, two CAD software, the Onshape and the Fusion 360. Why? Onshape is a software that works on the cloud. It's easier to use. And Fusion 360 was the software, is the software used by the company. Uh, and they had experience on that. And it was easier to parameterize the geometry. Here, the CAD software is just used to generate the geometries, different geometries or different trial geometries. And then uh, everything was combined with Dakota. Dakota was the tool to optimize the tool we did. Regarding the code development, what we did is that we created something that is quite common already in the in the in the in open phone community. We 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 took the the simple phone solver and we added the energy equation and appropriate viscosity models uh, that takes into into consideration the shear rate and the temperature in order to have. The ability to model to model uh, uh, the flow of the thermoplastic poly polymeric materials. Uh, in order to uh, also regarding the simulation code, what we did is that uh, we created a, a function object that Juan will describe later or we'll provide some details later that accounts accounts. Uh, uh, for the, the, the imbalance or try to, to quantify the imbalancement of the flow. Uh, the objective function is, is, is the equation is, is given in the slide. Uh, it, it, it uses, it calculates the flow rate at specific sections and those sections in a certain profile, uh, uh, this profile I'm showing is a T profile, is a simple profile, but all the illustrations for this tutorial will be done with a simple profile. The concept is, is the same, but is profile dependent, obviously. Uh, uh, but what we do is that we divide the outlet cross section into different ES. ES goes for elemental section and IS is intersection sections. Uh, 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 we divide the, the sections always in, in those in those ones, and we control the flow in each of those. And the aim is to have a uniform as uniform as possible flow distribution. And the objective function will tend to 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 zero uh, if if that happens. So uh, additional, what, what what have you we done in order to speed up the calculations? Uh, instead of looking for fully converged results in, in all the fields, we looked for fully converged results in the objective function. And this is illustrated here. This red line allow, allow us to stop the calculation and do the and perform faster if we stop the calculation by the objective function. We did that and that allows allowed us to improve uh, uh, significantly the calculation time and the number of tests we have performed in the in, in the HPC. Again, uh, I will not uh, advance the technical results. They will, they, they will be presented tomorrow. Uh, one limitation I didn't mention when I, uh, I referred to Fusion 360, and this, this will be the tool that will be illustrated here today, is that Fusion runs in Windows. And the HPC, uh, the, the cluster, runs in Linux. And uh, it was, we did, we, we were forced to uh, have, um, uh, build a framework that allows the different systems to communicate uh, because the geometries are generated in a Windows computer, uh, the one that is at the factory, in fact. And uh, uh, then the, there is a, a Windows subsystem Linux Ubuntu that is uh, uh, that was prepared just to send the files to the cluster. Uh, there is also communication through uh, a cloud uh, that Juan will will provide some details about it. Uh, and and then all the calculation, all the optimization is controlled at the cluster by running Dakota. Dakota itself will control all the process will request the generation of the different geometries, uh, uh, then we'll, we'll send the, the request to the Windows computer through the cloud. Uh, 
uh, that Windows computer, the computer will be waiting for the request, will generate the geometry. And then uh, after generation, the geometry is sent back to the cluster and it runs. Runs, computes the, the quality of the solution, and it does that in a loop mode until optimization, the optimization is achieved. Uh, there is a repository that we'll, we'll provide later uh, where we have all the codes that can be used, uh, the applications uh, that uh, were free, uh, all developed in, in OpenFOAM uh, V2206. Uh, the one is related to the objective function. The other one is related to the actual code I mentioned. Uh, and uh, the viscosity model, the constitutive model for the materials. Then th there is code for Fusion 360. It's the Python code that puts Fusion 360 running in automatic mode as well. And on the on the and the, the, with the, with the subsystem Linux, just the bash script to send the files to the cluster. Uh, for the Dakota. There is a case base where we have a case template for the problem. Uh, the variables, the template variables, keeps on changing. Then there, there are a number of scripts that are used by Dakota to, to create codes, to, to, to create problems, to uh, uh, generate different tests, to one batch script to, that is used to run the problem, a typical problem in the, in the cluster, and so on. There are a number of, of, of files that are used and they are described in the, in the, in the repository uh, that is public and that everyone has access to be able to run, to run this, this framework. So this is all from me. And then, João, I don't know if, if you have questions. I didn't mention that at the beginning, but if you have questions, please, please let us know, okay? Uh, 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 right now, João will do a hands-on to show from the beginning with a simple geometry how everything works. Okay. Good afternoon. I'm João Vidal. I'm I work in Sopreva, like Professor Miguel Nobrega already told. Um, now I will explain the the typical workflow that should be used with uh, the approach that we de developed. Um, first, we, we receive our customer drawing. In this case, is our T profile. And from, from this drawing, we, we have to, to uh, design the flow channel and parameterize it. For that, uh, I will uh, show you directly on the, there it is, okay. No signal. Okay. Uh, screen. Yeah, okay. Change the screen. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. My line is sure, I think. Uh, here it is. Okay. I don't know why, but anyway, it, it's not done. Okay. The connection is good. 
Um, I will start from a new um, a new project. We have to make the the drawing that um, the customer sent for a typical profile. Start the new sketch. In this case, we will be using this profile over here with six. Okay, better I, I'll show you on the already drawn profile is easier because I'm getting some problems in the connection with uh, the company computer. Okay, we do the we made a drawing. Then we need to um, to draw our inlet for the okay, some problem with the connection again. Okay? We make the drawing and then we 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 draw our um, our our profile. Can you help me here, please? Because we have it's not uh, sending the, the comments. Huh? But okay, I will I will pass to the presentation so we don't lose much more time and I will try to explain you. Okay, let's see. Okay, we make the drawing and then um, we need to, after the drawing and set up the, um, the boundary conditions directly on the fusions because fusion, we, we can, in this script, we can set up the, the fusion, um, the fusion um, boundary condition, uh, the open form boundary condition directly on fusion. We are, Patch. The patches, yes, we have we divided the patches in in fusion. The, the our uh, inlet, our symmetry. In this case here, and then we move to the Dakota um, script. In our Dakota script, we need to uh, to set up. Oh, okay, in our Dakota script. Okay, Dakota. In our Dakota script, we need to set up our username for our next cloud uh, account, our password, the project name, and the shared folder that we have in our uh, Windows um, Windows um, computer. Well, just to the, the the cloud that we we installed and the, is our the the connection between the HPC part and the 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 computer in the the company. We set up our boundary condition in the zero folder as a typical um, perform case. We set up also our our rheology model, a very basic open form case. And here is the one part that we changed. Here is the objective function. These values that I'm pointing. Over here are the um, are the cross section areas of our elemental sections. This will define the the ratios of flows that we need to stop the simulation by our objective function. We need to set up our step size 
is how much the the it it will evaluate the um, the difference the convergence of the the object function the tolerance and after reaching that uh, uh, tolerance it counts uh, the, the amount that we set up in the mine counter we also have a year and then it counts to 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 uh, we are sure that we are in conversion uh, uh, time by the and then over here we need to set up also the it's the the number of elemental section or in the intersections going to the part of dakota this part is in the hpc in the hpc part we need to in this case it was a slurm um, uh, hpc and we need to set up our uh, job name the the log name that we where we were going to read uh, our residuals and fields and after that we need to set up the concurrency this is the how many jobs we uh, will run at the same time because you know the, the the model that we are using just allow us to um, run the same uh, number of jobs simulations as the numbers of uh, variables uh, in this case, uh, the, the case that I'm showing you, it was a case that we are using seven and the application process is the number of cores that we want to use for each uh, simulation. This uh, of course need to be set up in the decompose uh, part of it. Now, for the file transfer, this uh, file, we need to, uh, to include it in the um, in the um, shared folder in the next cloud. This we need to launch it in the WSL. And I don't want Um, and we need to to be uh, running it while the optimization is uh, being performed because this is the the code that will sync HPC and Windows um, Windows computer. In this case, we also need to set up our username for the cluster, uh, the cluster uh, address, and uh, the path where we are running our uh, optimization uh, in this case we don't need to to set up our passwords because probably you already set up when you uh, start using uh, the, the the cluster and then we also have our uh, script infusion this will um, this will uh, automatically export all the geometries, this uh, uh, script, it reads one uh, value file sent from the cluster, and then it generates geometries. It will generate in the serial way a, any amount of geometries that the, the Dakota asks, and, and it will put it in the, in the shared folder for the previous script send it to the to the to the cluster of course after this we need to um, to export like we launch the script in the in fusion we do it like this and in the end we get a result in this case we run um, 29 iterations and the best result is the nine uh, the nine the ninth iteration and we need to analyze the result. This is, sometimes it's important to see if it's important to always check our 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 result. And in the end, we just remove the the flow channel from our typical die. I will try to show you how, how I can do it in the in the computer of the factory. But if 
if this led me to show you how. Okay, let me see. In this case, I have here the cluster counter account. Is this the question? Yeah. You are at the question? Mm -hmm. It's not sending comments there. It doesn't send the comments to the. I will try in another browser. Can I? Yeah, of course. It's, maybe it's because we are using a mic. Uh, can I use it? Yeah. Okay, here it works. So, um, as I was showing, I will do it step by step. Here we withdraw our um, inlet and outlet. Then we extrude everything and up to uh, we get the, the full channel. Then we divide our asymmetry in this case. Important, we need to split our um, our outlet, and then we 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 create our patches. Script here in Fusion, we can use this uh, mesh tool. Just create our STL. It generates our, our STL, and after this, we need to in proper properties. It's here that we define our project name, that Dakota and uh, the script they will it will use to generate the the folder. The folder is named here. We need to keep always this name consistent through all the the. The, um, the scripts. Okay. And then. Okay. And so here we have two. In this case, six. You can see now. This line we have with three. Now we can parameters are set over here. And like four. From size three plus one. Okay, but here we we should send 
parameterize this geometry so we can always keep I, I, is, is a, a small small big uh, and uh, technical problem but I can send the comments through this computer to the computer in the, in the company but it will always change the the parameters that are set over over here that is our table that we are where we set up all, all our parameters this imagine we, we can add a new parameter imagine we have a, a third parameter here we can create this then dakota will change these parameters it sends a file i can show you what the file that we, we receive next one folder These are the files that Dakota creates, value and trigger, and with the variables. This case was the case one, and does it start from zero? And then fusion. Uh, it's the, the trigger, it's the file that says Dakota that it can start the simulation because we need to be sure we can't uh, clusters they don't allow us to read many times the disk it was a thing that we learned the hardest way and <laughs> uh, we need we needed to find a way of not overloading the the hard drive and keep both computers in sync so what we did, we are sending signs through the internet. So if the file exists in my computer, it will generate the case in the HPC. This was uh, one thing that the, the persons from the HPC cluster that we are using said, we couldn't read nothing, uh, be eating the hard drive, uh, several times, and these are the the SCLs that. Okay. Yes, sorry. Because the data files are already there. So yeah. In the I will show in the cluster that how it set up the. Um, In, okay, I will show you first the template. It's easier for you to understand the clean case. This template is the one that is uh, provided in the the um, repository. It has all the uh, needed case uh, files to run. We can the files that we need to change are the Dakota case in here. We need to. Um, Here we need to set up our uh, the number of variables of uh, somewhere else.
See here, we need to set the number of variables. We need to set up an initial point for all the variables, one entry per variable, and one upper boundary per um, per, per level per, per per variable. Also, we need to this this uh, add the descriptor. This is the descriptor that we are using in Fusion. If you use a different one, it uh, the Fusion script will crash and will not allow to generate uh, new geometries. Here, this line in the synchronous is the number of um, uh, uh, parallel uh, op optimization simulations that we are running. Uh, in this method, if you set up more than two, it won't do nothing because it maximum is the number of variables. Also, we need to change the batch script. We need to change the concurrency, the applicate, the applicate process. This is the number of cores that we want to use. And most also important and the script that is most, most complex is the simulator script. This is the simulator, the, the script that controls the synchronization between uh, HPC, uh, Windows, and it runs the simulations. We have the first part is the, um, the user data. Then if you, this part here is the sync between the cluster. This is waiting for the trigger file to be created to, uh, to, to start the simulations. We are waiting after STLs are unloaded, it will create the, the working directory. It will, this, in this case, we are, uh, we, one thing that we found out during this project uh, is that uh, the MPI, it, it didn't uh, manage uh, efficiently the, the course. So what we did, we uh, create files, the um, Dakota, in this case, the batch script is generating um, a list of nodes to be allocated. That were allocated to, to that specific job. And then we're going to pick nodes, the number of nodes that we need for each simulation. This is, it was important because in the beginning, we were getting all the simulation allocated in just one node. And uh, the, we we learned it the hardest way uh, because we were getting we, it wasn't scaling up the the the, the time. And after a while, we figured out how to do it, and this this handles automatically the the location of nodes. Then after it runs our simulation. This is the typical, typical uh, of open, open phone case. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you have any some doubts. I I I, I thought I, we could do better integration with uh, the computer in the company, but it wasn't possible. If if you have any question, I'm open. Okay. Yes. Huh? Yes, I can. I can watch. Yes. 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 Yes, please. Uh, that part is the, the question that we were thought that someone would do, but that part was Joel Guerrero that uh, set up. Okay. 
I will try to show you how it will run the the case. Yeah. I will try to put this one. No, it it's using the Uh, I can answer to that probably in the in the part in the in the in the field in my company we are just using it uh, for extrusion we our field is a, a polymer extrusion profiles I don't know maybe if another company are interested they can apply it to another pro No. Thank you. 
Uh, no, I can't change. Is there is something I can send the commands? Look, I'll try. It. Okay, I can't launch it, yes. but I need to change here in the simulator script. I need to change the this number. <laughs> Yeah, the Portuguese keyboard is not because you need to add it. Maybe use another editor for uh, you No, know, because it's in the cluster. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Because in order to add it, the people will be pressing. I need to. Yeah. It's possible to use another computer. Yeah. Sorry. Just to show. Because when it's not having to edit the file, I believe it's a problem of keyboard accessibility. Mm -hmm. I can't do it. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Add my computer here and give you the new testing. Yeah. 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 With another computer? Yeah. No, but I can use the screen yeah. the, here. Are there any changes yeah. you need to make? No, it's just one letter. <laughs> ah. From one to. Okay, can you change on the other? Uh, on the. Which one? What what are you working here? Because I already have the uh, solution run on the other. So, yeah. You have to put two? Okay. Yeah. All right. It's much. Uh, okay, so it's already sent. Yeah, it's working. Okay. So now it will start. Okay. Now it will uh, create, uh, launch the, um, the, the libraries that need, and now it's already sending to the co computer in the company the the need of the files. So if I can just waiting for the software to generate the chart. Yeah. So it's sending the, 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 the in this case the value file. Yeah. You can see it already create an OFW pool with a working directory that so inside that have a value file. And now I need to copy here the file transfer that I need to launch. It's waiting for the geometry to be generated. And now I can launch Infusion. I've got already requested information to Infusion. And now it's waiting. To us, now it will start generating geometries. 
and now the fun part will be on the scripts. Says okay, we have a problem with the, the script. We need to change it, the the project name in file transfer. Is a win who passed the comment comment. Okay, and finally, finally, it sent the um, the geometries to the cluster. And now in the cluster, it will be saying that it's waiting. And it it's wait when the trigger file over there in the computer is created, it will uh, start simulating. So I create the total STL. Yeah, and it should be pretty fast. Usually, this type of simulation it takes in the more or less complex geometry, it takes like 12 to 16 minutes. In this case, probably, probably less. I can show inside the working directory that. Is running no 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 it's not concerned. I will show you in the in the working directory the simulation running. Um log. and the simulation running. Right, I was solving the problem, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, in this case, it even converted by the residuals. And some, in a few seconds, you will start seeing a new working directory. It will be a working directory too. Okay. 
then to the uh, now I'll start sending new new cases. Here you can see the In this case, it's running one simulation at a time, but yeah, in the cases, I, from my experience, the most, the more, more variables it have, the more simulation it runs, and it takes more or less the same time to to convert the case with six variables and the one with sixteen. Because in this case, we have the computational power, and you were able to run thirty-two simulation at the same time. Because we have the test was in the in the thirty-two processors, so the sixteen times 
the number of ports for all the similar tenants in the US, so we want to know the report. So we want to compare this pair and the We are able to rank the report of one day and less than one day and the report of one day and its rank and its also even more than one day. In some cases, for them, Uh, uh, 32. No, 16. 16. Yes. 
Uh, although just one from my point my point of view right now the biggest problem is like is, that gives more work is to parameterize to have the geometry parameterized in the way it won't crash we the designer the engineer need to be careful how assigns the variables that uh, so the, the the setup doesn't break in the the process just that yeah just do not make self intersection uh, surface that kind of thing it it, it can happen sometimes Sometimes twice in the same day. <laughs> 